guys, this is Keisha, and welcome to my sister's in Witchy family. So, <clears throat> as you guys may have known, um, we did um, lose a Witchy family member, um, Yasmin and her husband, and recently just found out that her um, daughter had passed away um, due to the, um, fire. Um, so why you, am I repeating this? Because it's in my last video? Good question. This video is about spirituality. Um, I had a comment, and it's actually a good comment. Um, <coughs> I had a comment about <clears throat> trusting trusting in your spirituality. So I'm gonna respond to it. Um is it it's hard to believe or trust what um why things happen. There's been times I question my spirituality from the time when I was a Christian to most recent back in April when my cousin had passed away. Um, when it comes to your spirituality, you always come to wonder why, 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 why did these wonderful people have to go? Why did this little girl, their little girl have to go? Why can the spirit save them or help them through it, help them out? Save them, help them. I asked the same question when it came to my cousin when he passed away. Um... I asked the same question. Why when um why wouldn't my deity help? Why didn't my deity allow my cousin to pass away? Why? You know, you just you ask yourself these questions. When I was a Christian, I asked the same thing about my great grandmother, my grandfather, um, the people I love. You always wonder, why does it have to be the good people? Why can't it be people that deserve it? That happens today. Even with... Yes, dear. XXX Inception. Yes, even XXX Etacion. It's not Etacion, it's Tentacion. Whatever. Tentacion, Exacion, Pifacion. Don't make fun of me. Anyways. We, we always wonder why things happen. Why did the universe, why did the, the goddess and the gods allow this to happen? Why did the ancestral, the ancestors let this happen? And why did the spirits let this happen, etc., etc., etc.? And we have to look at it as We could question things and keep questioning them, but at the end, the only ones that have answers is the universe. Only the universe knows why my cousin uh, went the way he did, why I couldn't help him, why it's not allowed for me to save him or help him. Only the universe knows why they didn't get um, Yasmin, her husband, and her daughter out. Only the universe knows these things. We we can't we don't have the answers. As physical beings, we could ask questions. We could bitch about it. We could cry about it. But at the end of the day. 
we're never that's no way to get our answer. And that's and we're not gonna get the answer that we want. And if we do get the answer, it's not gonna be the answer we like. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to be pissed. But at the end of the day, we got to remember that it's not what they want for us. They don't want us to be angry. They don't want us to say, fuck you. I don't want to serve you as your child no more. I'm just, whatever, I'm done. I'm done with being a witch. I'm just going to be a whatever. I feel that Yasmina wouldn't want our witchy community to fall apart because she's not here. I feel that she would want us to be stronger. I feel she would want us to be better. I feel she wants us to stick together as a family and not let dumbasses, retarded ass people, stupid people tear our community apart. I feel she would want us to be strong. And when you watch her videos, you would see that she is that strong type of person. That she was like the type of person that says, fuck you. I don't give a shit what the fuck you say. Go fuck yourself. And I feel that's how she was. Um, in her videos, if you look back at her videos, and I watched her videos, I became a subscriber of her. I was a subscriber of her when I had my first channel until that got screwed up. That's a whole other video. And I just recently, about a couple months ago, again, about a month ago, um, I resubscribed to her, and I had commented, and I loved her comment, which commented me back. Um, her videos really made sense, especially with me being a um, student of the craft, being new to the craft and learning things. Um, It's, it's hard. And like I said, we could grieve. We could be pissed. But at the end of the day, she would want us to be stronger than ever. And not let people tear us down. Not let the bullshit on YouTube, on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. She would not want shit like that to get the best of us. She would want us to be stronger, be better than ever. She would want us to be the witchy community that we are, but ten t times ten, times a hundred, times a thousand, hell, make it a thousand. Um, she wants us to know that she is going to watch over us. She's with us. Spiritually, she wants to continue to do what we do. Stay focused on our magic. Stay focused on our craft. Stay focused for those who are learning. Stay focused on learning. Um, no matter what you're going through. And I'm sorry if I sound like a Christian at this point, at this, when I get to this part. Um, it's a storm. Just go through the storm. And you will see a rainbow at the end. Um, it's going to be a storm, you guys. And she wants us to ride the storm out. She wants us to go through the storm. And then after that, be like, you know what? This was a rough patch in my life, but I made it. Thank you, goddess, gods, 
whoever you worship or whoever you talk to, thank you for giving me this farm. We just got to use this as a reminder that in spite of what happens, we need to stay focused. We need to stay focused and stay strong and cut out the bullshit. Um, don't, I mean, we shouldn't give a fuck what other people say. Especially certain, a certain YouTube person on here that we're not going to even go there. I'm not going to give them the name, but we all know who they are. Um, just fuck what they say. Continue doing you and be who you are. And that's what Yasmina would want us to do. She want want us to continue being us. If we have kids, we love our kids. No matter how much of a headache they are. And I know mine could be a headache. Huh, honey? Hmm. You could be a headache, huh? Anyway, she's a headache sometimes. No, I'm not. But I still love her. No matter what, who you deal with. You could be dealing with an ex-partner, um, an ex-BFF, an ex-friend, um, an ex-boyfriend. In my case, my ex-boyfriend is, you know. That's another subject, too. Another video. But, um, an ex-husband, even. In my case, I'm dealing with my ex-husband. As much as I can't stand him, I respect him. We all have enemies. And this one thing that I've learned from her is, in spite of the fact you have enemies... We still got to love them. We don't want no harm done to them. As much as we would love to have a few things happen to them. <clears throat> I can name a few people. But uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's up to our... It's up to the universe to deal with them. What they will may deal with them. And all we could do is say, you know what? I'm not saying kiss the ass. I'm just simply saying, you know what? It is what it is. I'm I'm washing my hands with you. And I forgive you. Even though you talk shit on social media about me and try to trash my name. Fuck you. But you know what? It's all good. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to forgive you. Um... And again, forgive me for sounding like a Christian in this, but we got to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, no matter how ugly our neighbors are. And um, and I think that's, I, I feel that's what Yasmina would want us to do. She would want us to love our enemies, no matter how much we can't stand half of our enemies and half the people here on YouTube may me fake ass people um we're not gonna mention any names troll <coughs> troll anyways um we know who that troll is um <laughs> uh, we we need to still respect each other regardless of things and just be there for each other and that's what she would want us to do that's what i feel she want us to do and with that said just know that Life sucks. It sucks that life has to be taken in tragic ways, whether it be a fire or a natural disaster like a tornado, hurricane, uh, earthquake, tsunami, whatever, or even a volcano, um, or snowstorms, whatever. Or even being shot at, blown up, thrown into the lake of sharks, whatever. Um, whatever the case may be. Um, just make sure you hug your loved ones. In spite of how much you can't stand them. Tell, tell your loved ones you love them. Say, you know what? I can't stand you, but I still love you. Just we, we just gotta love our enemies. As much as we hate them, 
I don't want to say hate. The much we dislike them, we just got to respect them. We got to respect each other. We, we have to. The madness needs to stop. She wants the madness to stop. She, I, I, and I totally agree with her. I, I feel she wants the madness to stop. And we should take this as a life lesson as you don't know what could happen. One minute you could be here, and the next minute you'll be gone in the blink of an eye. So live life to the fullest. Live as if it's your last. Enjoy life. Fuck the haters. Love the love your haters. I I try to do that in majority of my videos. I I love my troll. My troll is the best troll I ever fucking had. I love my troll. My troll I love you troll. You make me the happiest person on YouTube. So if you got a troll, love them. Thank them. Thank them for watching your videos and thumb them and putting thumbs down on them. I am. I'm thanking my troll for thumb down in my videos because it means she's watching it. Oops, I said she. We all know who she is. But anyways, thank your haters. Appreciate your haters. Appreciate the ones you love. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Tomorrow is not promised to us, you guys. I hate to say it. Proof is in the pudding. Tomorrow is not promised to us. Don't ever put off today for tomorrow. Because you don't know what's going to happen. So, with that said, um, have faith. Trust in your magic. Trust in yourself. Love yourself. Love others in spite of the ugliness. Love your trolls. Love your haters. And let's be strong. Let's be the community that she wants us to be. Let's stop the madness. It ends here. And the way to end it is to show love to our haters. And our trolls. So until next time. And I promise my next videos will be a happy videos. I promise. Unless there's another serious scenario that comes up. But yeah. But other than that. Um, I love you guys. I love you trolls and haters. Um. And if you guys, since everybody's coming up with cute little nicknames, like, again, Hatchlings, Lovelies, whatever, let me know what you guys would like me to call you guys. Because everybody else is having one. Hell, I might as well have one, right? Because um, I'm always saying substers in witchy family, so I just want to include everybody so I don't have to keep saying substers and witchy family. So, um, comment down below and give me some suggestions of, um, witching names, witching nicknames, um, for you guys. Um, so, um, like, share, sub, and, um, Again, show some love. Um, light a candle for our loved ones. Light a candle for Ancestral, a.k.a. Um, Yasmina and her husband and her daughter. Light a candle for them. Leave them out of water. And um, fire safety. Be safe. When you're doing this. And. Um, just know my wonderful witchy fam. Samhain is coming up. And it's October. Which reminds me. I just remembered. This is October. 
let me know what day you want me to do um start your witch start the witchy challenge um i know i'm supposed to do a witchy challenge this month so i need to catch up on that um and i will do that in my next video that i'm going to do because i have three that i need to start on so um i'll do a separate video for that and also the one about the readings because we're supposed to be doing an October reading. So if you like a reading, comment also down below. Hashtag reading. And um, it could be public or private. Let me know. And um, I'll link my email down below as well. So if you want private, email me. If you want public, comment, say public. Hashtag public. If you want private just hashtag private or just hashtag private and i will have you email me or just email me either way email me if you want a reading then privately or publicly so and i will also as soon as i can i also put my facebook page down below for the private readings um, group as well so um until then i'll see y'all on the flip side and Blessed be. Bye.